Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is, where you are tuning in. Thank you so much for joining me today for the next edition of A Voice from the Everchange Meditation Program. Now, I generally like to give a bit of an introduction, a talk, uh, kind of as a way of allowing people who are planning on attending this live uh, so that they can tune in, show up. I generally uh, talk a little bit about uh, some of the offerings that I have coming up and so forth. I'm going to skip all of that today. So if you're going to join this late, I apologize. Uh, the reason why is that uh, today's meditation offering is a little bit longer uh, than the usual meditations that I offer. Uh, and the reason being is that, well, today is uh, a meditation on change and impermanence. And it is a combination of the previous three meditations. Uh, now, those meditations were on, uh, the first one was on change in the world. The second one was on change on our physical body. The third is change on our mental, emotional body, our sense of I. So we, today we'll go through change on all three of those at the same time, holding all of that experience together. So first going through all of the change in the world, contemplating the change in our external experiences from the bodies, the planets, the stars, the galaxies, down to our moment-to-moment -moment change uh, throughout the day. So starting quite large, coming smaller and smaller and smaller and closer. Then we'll contemplate change in the physical body. And we'll contemplate change in the emotional mental body. And so the idea here is to really allow ourselves to experience on a very, very visceral level how everything is changing. There is not one aspect of our experience that we can point to and say, that is a solid, fixed entity. And the reason why this, well, there's, there's many reasons, and there's many, many benefits to this type of meditation practice, which I will go into on my next episode as a wrap-up. I'll be offering a Dharma talk, and I'll be outlining all of the, the many uh, profound benefits and insights that can arise from such a practice. I don't have time to do all of that today. But I'll just mention that this type of practice frees us from the tendency to try to find happiness, lasting happiness, in a place where it can never be found. As human beings, we tend to try to find lasting peace, lasting happiness in our external experiences. We buy a new house, we buy a new car, we get a new pet, we start a new relationship, thinking that this will be the next thing that makes me happy. That pursuit only leads us to suffering. So systematically going through our experience, recognizing the impermanent nature of all experience, we are actually discovering the internal happiness, which is always there, but it's covered up by that pursuit of the external. And so by discovering that internal happiness, that internal joy, that ever presence of bliss, we reclaim the responsibility that we gave to others that responsibility that that will make me happy, or this will make me happy, or that person will complete me. We reclaim that, finding our own completeness, our own joy, our own happiness. And so, 
Without further ado, I'd like to get started into the practice. So this practice will unfold um, most like most of the practices that I offer. I will uh, ring the bell. I'll bring us into the present moment uh, by noticing and embracing the sensations of the breath and the body. Breath and body are always present moment experiences, as are the sounds. So we'll listen to the sounds of the present moment as well. Then we'll just go through the external and external coming into the present moment again and just resting in the experience of this ever-changing flow of life. Enjoy. So allowing the body, mind, and heart to rest. Just coming into this present moment experience. Noticing the breath as it enters and leaves the nose. Noticing the breath as it touches the back of the throat. Perhaps simply noticing the temperature from cooler to warmer at the nose and the back of the throat as you inhale and exhale. Noticing the rib cage expanding and contracting with each breath. the rising and falling of the abdomen as you inhale and exhale. You might also notice the back moving out as you breathe in and in as you breathe out. Noticing the shoulders rising and falling with each breath. You might also notice the body straightening up slightly as you inhale and leaning forward slightly as you exhale. And so we'll rest right there just for a few moments. The experience of breathing. Sensations from the nose, the back of the throat, the chest and shoulders and back and abdomen. And any other sensations that you might notice arising as a result of the breathing process. And if you become distracted by your thoughts at any point during this meditation, you can label those thoughts with the word thinking. And that'll help the thoughts to dissolve. And you can gently return back to the present moment. while resting here with the experience of breath, sensations from the nose to the abdomen, the abdomen to the nose. Allow awareness to expand again to include sensations of feet against the mat.
Noticing the sensations of clothing against the legs. You might also invite the feet and the legs to rest, relax. Noticing the weight of the body against the cushion or chair, mat or floor. Allowing the muscles underneath those sensations to rest completely. You might also notice sensations of clothing against the back. Inviting the muscles in the back to relax and grow soft. Noticing the hands resting against the body or touching each other. The arms resting against the body. Inviting the hands and the arms to relax completely. Noticing sensations of clothing against the shoulders. Inviting the muscles in the shoulders to rest. You might also notice sensations arising from the back of the neck. The sides of the neck, inviting the muscles in the neck to grow soft. You might notice sensations arising throughout the cheeks of the face, inviting the muscles in the face to rest. Noticing any sensations arising from the top of the head. And while resting here with the breath and the body, you might also notice the sounds of the present moment. Not focusing on any one sound in particular, but noticing the entire field of sound. Hearing all of the sounds all at the same time. In addition to any sound, paying close attention to the quality of still silence within the sense of hearing. You might notice how the sounds change and fluctuate as they arise and pass through awareness. Noticing that is a clear illustration of impermanence and change. And so we'll rest right there for a few moments, resting with the breath and body, silence and sound, and just rest. If you become distracted by thoughts, simply labeling those thoughts with the word thinking will help the thoughts to dissolve. You can gently return back to the present moment.
And now while resting in this present moment experience, allowing a visualization to arise in the mind's eye, visualizing the planets, the stars, the galaxies, visualizing celestial bodies as far as the mind can imagine. Out into the universe and the edge of the universe. And if visualization is difficult, you can simply contemplate the planets, the stars, the galaxies, and begin contemplating change on that level. Asteroids running into each other, creating space debris. Planets come spinning out of nothingness, out of this energy gathering mass, spinning, evolving, growing over the course of eons of time. Stars born and eventually explode, swallowing up planets whole, creating black holes within the empty space. Changes which happen in the blink of an eye changes which take eons to execute. And coming closer to our own reality, bringing this contemplation to planet Earth, or Mother Gaia, if you wish. Contemplating the oceans changing, tides rising and falling. Some oceans have increased in depth over hundreds of years, while other oceans completely dried up, giving us remarkable land features such as the Grand Canyon, the great rock sculptures in Utah, Colorado, Taiwan, all over the world. Mountains shift and move, volcanoes erupt, giving birth to new masses of earth every year. Lakes dry up and refill. Rivers over a few decades will dry up and relocate several hundred yards away. Take a few moments to contemplate all of the change and impermanence, not only in the stars and galaxies, but planet Earth herself. Contemplating how the weather patterns have changed, storms growing stronger, Places on earth getting warmer. Chunks of ice in Alaska, the North and South Pole melting, which causes the oceans to rise.
contemplating plants change, changing their colors as the seasons change. How trees will grow from a sapling and over hundreds of years become a great pine or an oak. Leaves in the spring are born with new color, only to change, turn brown, red, and gold in autumn and fall, creating a crisp sidewalk for us to walk upon. Contemplating change within the animal kingdom. Species have come to be, stayed around for a couple of hundred years and died out. We know that once upon a time, dinosaurs and large reptiles walk the earth, yet no longer. Mammals hibernate with the changing of the weather. Dolphins and whales migrate as areas get cold and birds migrate. Change within the animal kingdom itself. According to one evolutionary theory, man evolved from fish, which evolved from single-cell amoebas. Over countless centuries, fins became nubs and evolved into hands with reversible thumbs. Contemplating how empires were born out of clay and soil. Tribes came together in mass, giving birth to empires like the Byzantine Empire, the Roman Empire. Religions were born, starting with the great mother religions. Evolving to patriarchal based religions. Giving way to modernity. Such beliefs such as atheism and agnosticism. Countries were born, borders change, languages are born, evolve. Notice how the English language itself is remarkably unrecognizable in its earliest form to the English language today. The nation you were born in, notice how the legal structures might have changed. Social structures may have changed. Human rights 
has evolved and changed. The government structures may have changed. Clothing, fashions, and fads over hundreds of years change, evolve, grow, fluctuate. Philosophies change, giving birth to new philosophies out of old, outworn beliefs and philosophies. Artistic forms fluctuate, change, and grow. The use of perspective and dynamics in painted works and sculpture. Musical forms change. Musical instruments change. Evolution of the arts to reflect evolution of consciousness. Notice the change in the seasons. The autumn eventually will give way to the freezing cold winter, snow on the ground, which eventually gives way to blossoming flowers, gardens, the floral odors, the birds singing in the springtime as the sun slowly thaws the ice, which gives way to the penetrating heat of summer. Which gradually fluctuates to the autumn. And so it goes. Noticing change in the workplace, in the tools of the trade, how computers have evolved and changed, technology completely changing the nature of work in most career paths. Notice the moment-to-moment -moment change throughout the day as you look out the window and you notice the sunlight shifting across the ground from morning to afternoon to evening. How the bird songs in the morning give way to the sound of traffic, to the sound of children playing after school, to the sound of the commute home. Notice the fluctuation in your own body as you wake. Hunger arises and satiation, then laziness, then as you drink a coffee, invigorated and recharged the business meeting at 10, which gives rise to contemplation and perhaps confusion, which brings you to lunch and you're hungry again, which brings you to satiation and so forth. So we'll rest there for a moment, resting in contemplation of all of these external and slightly internal changes from the planets, stars and galaxies, changes within Mother Earth, coming in closer, contemplating change within our own environment and ourselves.
now bringing awareness closer still, coming closer to our experience of our own body. Contemplating the change in our own hair, skin, fingernails, and toenails, present day to our body five years ago. Change in the muscle tone, bones, organs, lungs, and heart, present day to five years ago. Change in the height and weight of our body, present day to five years ago. Contemplating or visualizing change in the hair, skin, fingernails and toenails, perhaps elasticity, color of the hair, strength in the toenails, fingernails. Present day body to 10 years ago. Noticing all the change there. Visualizing or contemplating change in your present day muscles, bones, organs, heart and lungs, present day to yourself 10 years ago. Change in your height and weight present day to your body 10 years ago. Contemplating change in the physical body, the hair, the skin, fingernails and toenails, your present day body to your body 15 years ago. Change in the muscles, the bones, the organs, the lungs and the heart. Comparing present day body to your body 15 years ago. Visualizing your present day height and weight and comparing that to your height and weight 15 years ago. Noticing your current hair, skin, fingernails, and toenails. Comparing that to your body 20 years ago. Noticing your current state of muscles, bones, organs, heart, and lungs, comparing that to your body 20 years ago. Noticing your current height and weight and comparing that to your body 20 years ago. Doing the same contemplation 25 years ago. Go. To your 
you're contemplating the body you had as a five-year-old. Stars and galaxies, the changes within Mother Earth, the changes within the human experience, government, cities, empires, fads, fashions, music, so forth. Change in our day-to-day -day experience. and change within our own physical human body. Everything changes, nothing stays the same. while resting here in this experience of the ever change. We'll begin contemplating our internal experience, our abilities to see, hear, taste, touch, smell, think, remember, and comprehend. Notice how those have changed in the past five years. Notice how our memories may have fluctuated and changed through the act of recollection or perhaps meeting a friend we haven't seen in a long time. Our memories change and fluctuate. Notice how our likes and dislikes may have changed and fluctuated now to five years ago. Taking stock in our current value system, our beliefs, our truths, and compare those to our values beliefs and truths five years ago. Notice how you identify yourself now it might be different than how you identified yourself five years ago. And begin to contemplate change in how you see, your ability to see, hear, taste, touch and smell. Compare that now to 10 years ago. Perhaps you've started wearing glasses or can't hear to quite the same spectrum you use. Maybe your sense of taste has changed. You like foods you didn't like 10 years ago, or vice versa. Take stock in your current ability to think and remember and comprehend. 
comparing your abilities to think, remember, and comprehend 10 years ago. It would have been in 2010. Notice changes in your own personality, the things you like and dislike now as compared to what you liked and disliked 10 years ago. Change in your belief systems or structures what you held to be true and valuable 10 years ago might be quite a bit different than what it is today. Following a similar contemplation, comparing yourself today to yourself 15 years ago, in the year 2005. Noticing how your ability to see, hear, taste, touch, smell may have evolved, changed, deteriorated, or grown over the past 15 years. Changes in the ability to think, comprehend, and or remember. Notice how your likes and dislikes might have changed. You might be attracted to things now that you didn't know existed 15 years ago. And the things that attracted you 15 years ago might be far out of your realm of reality at this point. Maybe, maybe. Noticing how your values, truths about yourself and about the world, your beliefs have fluctuated, changed, or grown over the past 15 years. Doing the same contemplation 20 years ago, this would have been the year 2000. Contemplating the ability to see, hear, taste, touch, and smell. How that might have changed, grown, or devolved over the past 20 years. Ability to think comprehend and remember may have evolved, changed, deteriorated, or grown. Notice how our likes and dislikes over the past 20 years have fluctuated, evolved or devolved. How we view and see ourself and view the rest of the world, how that may have changed, evolved, grown over the past 20 years.
the things we held to be valuable, true, our beliefs, our philosophies, how they may have changed, evolved, grown, fluctuated from the year 2000 to present day. Notice how our memories themselves have changed. How we select certain memories to emphasize who we are and who we think we are and how we identify ourselves. And we tend to forget the other memories that have no value. And how over 20 years that can change dramatically. And we go back 25 years ago. And 30 years ago. Until... We're contemplating ourself as a five-year-old, comparing our abilities and our senses, our abilities to comprehend and think, our values, our beliefs, from a five-year-old us to our present-day us. We begin to recognize that even the concept and experience of I or us is changing. That there is no solid and fixed permanent ground that we can say, that's me. And so we'll rest right there, resting in this river of ever-changing experience. From the largest planets and stars to the smallest beliefs and values and everything in between. It's all in the river of ever change. Well, thank you for joining me today for this guided meditation offering through the field of impermanence, the field of ever change. I hope you all found that 
entertaining at least, if not beneficial. Uh, the reason why I'm offering these uh, practices on impermanence is I found them so beneficial and useful in this current world situation. It's so lovely to recognize that nothing is permanent. And so when we find ourselves within a challenge, we tend to freeze that challenge into a permanent entity. We fixate on it. We give it a life of its own. We take it, we take that challenge out of the river of ever change and freeze it into a space-time event. That gives us something to struggle against, push against. And in that struggle, in that pushing against, we actually reinforce our ego, our sense of I, our sense of being a fixed, solid entity in here, struggling against a fixed, solid experience out there. And so, by meditating on impermanence, by allowing us to viscerally experience the ever-changing flow of life, we can put those challenges, those struggles back into the river of ever-change. We learn to then rest in the eye of the storm, rather than struggle against the eye of the storm. So that's all I think I will say today. As I mentioned at the top of this hour, um, I'm going to offer a Dharma talk on impermanence uh, at the end of the weekend. That'll be Monday morning here in Asia or Sunday evening in uh, the Americas. Uh, so wherever you are tuning in, uh, adjust your clock accordingly. Uh, and I will be uh, talking for about, I don't know, 30, 45 minutes about uh, the benefits of these practices, expounding on that, uh, expounding on how the practices can be done uh, effectively in, uh, in and around a busy schedule and so forth. So I hope you'll join me for that. Uh, thanks again for tuning in. Have a great, wonderful weekend. Please do stay safe, stay healthy, wash your hands, practice your social distancing, wear your masks, and I will see you all on the other side of the weekend.